begin if this is the first time you visit to our channel, you consider to subscribe. Trust Dr. Channel Dr. Ez. The pituitary gland is a tiny organ, the size of a pea, found at the base of the brain. As the master gland of the body, it produces many hormones that travel throughout the body, directing certain processes or stimulating other glands to produce other hormones. The pituitary gland makes or stores many different hormones. The following hormones are made in the anterior front part of the pituitary gland. Prolactin. This hormone stimulates breast milk production after childbirth. When prolactin is high, it affects the hormones that control the ovaries in women and testes in men. As a result, high prolactin can affect menstrual periods, sexual function and fertility. Growth Hormone GH. This hormone stimulates growth in childhood and plays a role in maintaining healthy muscles and bone and well-being in adults. It also affects fat distribution in the body. Too much growth hormone causes a disease that is called acromegaly. In children, too much growth hormone causes excessive growth, called gigantism. A-D-R-E-N-O-C-O-R-T-I-C-O-T-R-O-P-I-N, A-C-T-H. This hormone stimulates the production of cortisol by the adrenal glands, small glands that sit on top of the kidneys. Cortisol, a stress hormone, is needed for our survival. It helps maintain blood pressure and blood glucose sugar levels, and is produced in larger amounts when we're under stress, especially during illness, surgery, or after injury. Too much ACTH will result in too much cortisol production, this is called Cushing's syndrome or Cushing's disease. Low ACTH will result in low cortisol, called adrenal insufficiency. Thyroid stimulating hormone TSH. This hormone stimulates the thyroid gland to produce thyroid hormones, which regulate the body's metabolism, energy balance, growth, and nervous system activity. Too much TSH is rare and will cause hypothyroidism, too much thyroid hormone. Lack of TSH results in hypothyroidism, not enough thyroid hormone. Luteinizing hormone, LH. This hormone stimulates testosterone production in men and egg release ovulation in women. Follicle stimulating hormone FSH. This hormone promotes sperm production in men and stimulates the ovaries to produce estrogen and develop eggs in women. LH and FSH work together to enable normal function of the ovaries and testes. Problems with these hormones affects menstrual periods in women and fertility and sexual function in both women and men. The following hormones are stored in the posterior back part of the pituitary gland. Antidiuretic hormone ADH. This hormone is also called vasopressin, it regulates water balance in the body and sodium levels in the blood. It conserves body water by reducing the amount of water lost in urine. Lack of ADH causes increased urination and thirst, a condition that is called diabetes insipidus. Oxytocin. This hormone causes milk to flow from the breasts in breastfeeding women, and may also help labor to progress. Oxytocin may also play an important role in human behavior and social interaction and may promote bonding between a mother and her child. What are some of the symptoms adults with a condition of the pituitary gland experience? The following list shows many of the symptoms associated with pituitary conditions. It covers different pituitary conditions and patients will not display all of these symptoms, only the ones relevant to their particular condition. You should see your GP if you have any of these symptoms but, remember, having some of these symptoms does not necessarily mean you have a pituitary condition. Once you are diagnosed, it may help you to know about other symptoms which you might experience that are associated with your condition. Please make sure you tell your doctors about all symptoms that you experience, this will help them to treat you. Headaches Vision Problems Unexplained Weight Gain Loss of Libido Feeling Dizzy and Nauseous Pale Complexion Muscle Wasting Coarsening of Facial Features Enlarged Hands and Feet Excessive Sweating and Oily Skin Moon Face with Reddened Skin on Face Carpal Tunnel Syndrome Pituitary Gland Condition Symptoms in Children What are some of the symptoms of a pituitary condition in children? In children with hypopituitarism from birth, congenital hypopituitarism, the anterior pituitary may be small and the posterior pituitary placed in an abnormal position. 
Such children often have several hormone deficiencies including growth hormone deficiency. In some children, the optic nerves are thin optic nerve hypoplasia and accompanied by the absence of a midline curtain-like structure, the septum pellucidum. The combination of these problems may be associated with hypopituitarism, a condition called septo-optic dysplasia. In this condition, there may be problems with fluid balance hormones. This is called diabetes insipidus, or water diabetes. Brain tumors. In some, hypopituitarism can also be due to brain tumors or head injury. The commonest brain tumor in children causing hypopituitarism is a craniopharyngioma. This tumor starts from the hypothalamus, the part of the brain above the pituitary gland. The tumor can press on the optic nerves and cause loss of vision. Children with this tumor often pass water more frequently, diabetes insipidus. In most children with hypopituitarism, growth is slow due to growth hormone deficiency. This is noticeable when plotting on a growth chart and comparing against the parents' heights. Some children may be tired due to low thyroid hormone levels or low levels of cortisol. In others, puberty may not progress due to a lack of gonadotrophins. Occasionally, some children, especially with septo-optic dysplasia or who have had brain radiation, may paradoxically enter puberty earlier than expected. Rarely, the pituitary gland can be large due to a tumor within the gland. Such a tumor may produce excess ACTH and cause a condition called Cushing's disease, in which the child becomes overweight. In others, prolactin may be in excess, with milk secretion from the nipples. Some symptoms in children can include poor growth, loss of vision, excessive drinking, excessive frequency of passing urine, tiredness, overweight, late puberty, early puberty, milk secretion, symptoms related to specific conditions, acromegaly, increased shoe size, gloves, hats, shirt collar, over months or years, headaches, joint pains, facial pain, changes to bite as the jaw moves forward and or spacing of teeth may change, sweating, increased weight, mood swings, tongue grows, Speech differences i.e. deeper voice, with possible lisping sound. Sleep apnea, snoring with episodes of interrupted catching of breath. Cushing's disease. Weight gain to trunk of body, plus rounding of face. Fatty hump at top of spine, back. Flushed appearance and roundness of face. Low mood, can feel depressed. Loss of bone density, if left untreated over time, due to excess cortisol. Extreme mood swings. Weakness, possible muscle wasting. Darkening of skin pigmentation. Dark purple striae, similar to stretch marks on abdomen and tops of thighs. Hirsutism, extreme hairiness. Diabetes insipidus, die. Passing excessive urine much more than usual during the day and frequently through the night. Urine is very pale, possibly clear and doesn't concentrate. Extreme thirst, which cannot be quenched. Preference of icy cold drinks. Headaches, which may be due to dehydration. Exhaustion. Shivering. Nausea. Dehydration symptoms, parched mouth, cracked lips, coated tongue, dry eyes and dry skin. Most foods intolerable with a preference to drink fluids. Weight loss. Hypopituitarism can include cortisol, growth hormone and thyroid deficiencies. Flu type feelings low or no cortisol in body, regular colds and or infections, hungover type feeling without having drunk alcohol. No body temperature control either feeling too hot, or too cold. Nausea. Mood swings feelings of depression, apathy or low mood. Joint aches and pains, and or poor muscle tone. Exhaustion. Constipation. Difficulty finding words. Poor sleep patterns. Low blood pressure feeling light heat. Pale pallor.